Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I had to do this video because um, it's a go-to look that I've been wearing a lot lately and I wanted to show off like my new favorite lipstick. Like I pretty much brought, bought every single color from this not lippy collection except for the lime green and the blue. But this one is from Nika K. It's called Melbrook. And it is just this lovely taupe mauve color. And it was only a dollar. So I wanted to show that off in this look. And I'm also using my new makeup brushes. I got a 10 set of these, a 10 piece set of these. They're amazing. Um, I'll do a review for you guys pretty soon. I just have to finish up a few things that I've been working on and then I'll get to them. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for finding me. Don't forget to subscribe because I have so much new stuff for you and I really want you to be able to see that. So I'm going to stop rambling and get to my video and you'll see how I created this lovely makeup look. Hi everyone, I've started off by doing my brows and now I'm just applying my Maybelline Master Prime Primer all over my face and prepping my skin for the foundation I'm about to apply. Okay, Now I'm going in with my foundation, my poreless matte foundation in 330 which I believe is toffee and I'm just applying an even coat and just dabbing this all over the face and I'm going to just to make an even application of this foundation all over my eyelids on and on my face. Okay. So a great tip with these brushes since they really do move the product and blend very evenly is to make sure you use a light hand uh, when applying it so you don't really lift too much of the product from the areas that you really want it. Okay. So I'm just making even coats. I'm uh, blending out the foundation onto my forehead. I also applied some to my neck as well to make every make sure that everything blends well. Now I'm going in with my concealer in warm sand. I'm applying two triangles underneath the eyes, a line under the lip, the nose, the chin, and under the cheekbones. And then I'm going to use a, another highlighter in yellow corrector and I'm applying that on my nose, the bridge of my nose and underneath my eyes just because I want those areas to be brighter. And I'm just taking a beauty blender and blending all of that concealer and highlighter uh, on my face. I'm also going to take that and blend it on the eyelids just so that I have a light base for my eyeshadows. So I'm just going to blend this out. I'm not using very bright highlighter. Um, underneath my entire eye because I want this to be a more go-to wearable out in public kind of look so I'm just blending everything out so you don't see any lines or edges and I'm also going to just be blending uh, my jawbone highlight just like that you guys and I'm taking my makeup brush and blending that out too and now I'm going in with my liquid concealer and I'm taking these lines from the cheekbone all the way down to the corner of my lips, underneath my lip, the perimeter of my forehead, and the perimeter of my jawline. Okay, just like that. I'm also going to take some and apply that in the inner corner of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and also onto the bottom of my nose. And I'm just going to take a beauty blender and start blending that out on my forehead. Nice and even. I'm also blending underneath my nose. And now I'm going to take that beauty blender and blend this contour line all the way up into my temple and to the corner of my lip. Okay. So I'm just using a, a makeup brush and blending that a little more evenly. Okay. I'm also using it to blend underneath my lip and along my, my jawline. Okay. Now I'm going in and blending the inner corner of my eyes on my forehead. Everything looks pretty nicely blended, but you gotta just keep going until you're comfortable and that you think that everything is blended. Okay, now I'm going in with my Beauty Treats palette. I'm using the lightest 
shadow with the lightest powder to set directly underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to use that um, on top of my eyelids to set the powder on my eyelids so that they don't freeze. Okay, now I'm going to take this next powder, it's a little bit darker, and I'm going to apply that and set the rest of my under eye area. I'm also going to be using this powder since it's not as bright as a, hi of a highlight on the upper part of my lip, the tip of my nose, between my eyebrows, the center of my forehead. I'm also going to take that onto my chin and underneath my cheekbone as my jaw bone highlights. Okay, just like that. And I'm creating a gradient, so I'm going from the lightest powder to the darkest powder, just to give you a heads up, okay? Now I'm going to take this dark, dark highlight right here, dark contour powder, and I'm going to use that to set my forehead. This is matte, it has no shimmer. I'm setting my cheekbone area, and I'm setting everywhere I applied my liquid contour, so underneath my nose, underneath my lip, the bridge of my nose, and the top of my nose. Okay. I'm also going to take a brush and set my jawline and underneath my chin. So just like that. Okay. And I'm using a transition color between those two colors right there. And I'm using that to blend that light color with the really dark color. Okay. So just like that. It's a very nice even blend. These brushes are great for powder, like fantastic for powder. I love them so much. Okay. And I'm going to apply this on everywhere else I'd like to blend, so like along my cheekbones. And now I'm just taking a little bit of that dark powder and connecting my um, powder contour on my cheekbones with the cheek contour with my forehead. Okay. So now I'm going in and I'm taking this dark contour shape and I'm going to use that to contour and bring out the, the bridge of my nose a little bit more. Just like that. And I'm going to keep that brush close and I'm going to use that to... Actually, I'm going to take a smaller one and I'm going to define my bridge of my um, forehead a little bit more. Just like, just like that. And I'm going to take that other brush and just blend it out nice and even. Okay. And now I'm going to take that shade and use it to set my eyelids. So I just blend out the crease and then set everything. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and use the highlighter and highlight these cheekbones and get glowed up, you guys. Don't mind my huge mosquito bite on my cheek because in Texas they bite your face. Okay. Now I'm going in with my MAC blush set and I'm using this nice plum color onto my crease and right above, right below my, my brow bone. Okay, and I'm just building up this color. It's really pretty and something you can wear every day. Um, so that's why it's a go-to for me. Okay, I'm also going to take that along the lower lash line of my eyes. Okay. And now I'm going to go in and use that other half. It's kind of like an orange peach color and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. Very simple and I'm just going to blend the top of that shadow. I'm also going to use it as a tear duct highlight. Okay, just like that. And um, now I'm going to use my eyeshadow C brush and I'm going to wet it a little bit with my setting powder. I'm going to take this other um, MAC shadow duo and I'm going to apply that onto the lid. It's really nice to use this wet because it becomes a nice cream shadow and it really, that glitter really foils and creates a really nice gold champagne color on the lids which is so beautiful and makes me kind of shiver. So now I'm going in with my Tarte and the size eye pencil, nude eye pencil and I'm lining my waterline just to brighten my eyes up and draw more attention to my lashes once I have applied my mascara. 
So now I'm going to do this and set, um, create a stencil for my winged eye. And I'm just connecting it from the outer corner of my eye to the lower part of my brow. And I'm just going to connect that and just make a wing. I am not going to um, line, make a thin line along the lash line because I really want you to be able to see the lashes. Um, let's see my eyelashes better. I'm just going to clean up that line. I saw I got a little bit of liner where I didn't want it to be. Now I'm going to take my telescopic mascara and I'm applying this directly to the lash line, just like that. I'm also going to apply some to the bottom lash line. Okay. And just tap that in to make the bottom lashes just as thick as the top. Very beautiful. And I'm also going to go back and do the bottom lash line on the other eye too. Sorry, can't see my eye in the corner there. Okay. And I got a little of that on my nose. Just wait till it dries and then you can scratch it off. Now I'm using Melbrook and this is a lovely color. I'm not using any liner and I'm just applying this directly to the lips. And it dries almost instantly. So this is all for my makeup look, you guys. Very nice go-to grown woman makeup look, and it's just perfect for the summer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!